This video series covers a trip by caravan that started in Brisbane and went via Rockhampton to Birdsville, the Red Centre, Gawler Ranges and Flinders Ranges and back to our home in Brisbane. I started to make these videos to record the journey soon after the trip, but for some reason didn't finish the task. I have now done so. 17 short videos comprise the set. The series is titled, West, Center and Flinders. Here is the next part. After buying our pass, we drove to the point where the climb commences, but it was closed. We had not intended to climb. Far too old. So we walked some of the encircling track, before returning to the car, to complete the journey more quickly and in greater comfort. Despite the many signs warning against taking photos, there is still plenty of scope for viewing and photography. At the back of the rock there is a parking area and a path to the point where water drains from the upper reaches of Ayers Rock and has created a pool with its own miniature forest. It is a beautiful spot. After a call at the visitor center, we moved on to Katachuka, or the Olgas. Before reaching the anthill-like mountains, there is a lookout on top of a convenient sand dune. Fellow tourists insisted on taking our photo. There are several good walks at the Olgas. We did two, both taking us well into the heart of the range. The first walk was into the Valley of the Winds. It leads up to a higher area with good views of the mountain range. This walk was too long to complete that day, but was worth the effort. Unlike Uluru, which is a monolith, these mountains are comprised of aggregate, a sort of natural concrete. The second was Walpa Gorge Walk that takes you almost through the mountain range to the eastern side.
back to the car park provides views almost as good as on the way out. Views are to the distant Peterman Ranges, of which Katachuka is part. I can't help taking a long look along the westbound Great Central Road and wondering why it has always eluded me. After that long look, we return to camp. We kept the sunset tradition of drinks at the rock. The colors are always enchanting. As the sun sets the angle of light and intervening clouds cause changes in the color of the rock. Changing colors reflect in the sky and clouds. When we looked behind us, we were met with brilliant shades of red among the dark gray clouds. A magnificent end to the day. Once again, back to the caravan for the night.